so we have saved our own version of the template so we've got our own portfolio and the next thing that we will need to know how to do is how to go about uploading evidence and um, adding links to that evidence so on this first page we've got this table here and a box for putting a link and the first thing that we might want to do is write some kind of text and once you've entered text if you click and drag over that text that can make this toolbar appear you could also double click on the text and that will let you do a few things such as change the formatting of that text but you can also link to an asset that you have in your asset store so if I click here then it gives us this view and I can locate a certain asset and I should use a PDF um, because it suits um, it makes the assessment um, work more smoothly if I use a PDF and if it's this example one I just click it and I can say confirm and I can use this eye icon to uh, preview how things are going to appear for somebody who's uh, looking at this uh, for assessment purposes and I can switch back to editing if I'm happy with uh, with its appearance by clicking on the pen if I wanted to attach something else and I got to this point and I realized ah it's not actually in the system yet. I haven't I haven't stored it here. Uh, it's on it's on my file uh, in my documents somewhere. Then I can go to this upload button, and then I'm given this menu here. I can give this file that I'm about to upload a name. A description and I can click on browse to locate it um, and again I'm looking for a PDF and at the moment this is grayed out I have to tick this box to make sure that it's my own file I'm not infringing copyright and it gives us an upper limit for the file size and I can click save and upload and I can close this and new example PDF is at the top of the list now and then I can continue on with the process as before select it say confirm and it's now added to this link for more on how to make use of that toolbar that appears when you double click or highlight you can go to the support and guidance page where there's um, 
a reminder of how it works, what the different uh, functions do, and a link out to the guidance provided by PebblePad about what those things do. Thanks for listening.